His blog is read by thousands each day, including many bishops. Noted Catholic blogger Rocco Palmo recently visited St. John's Seminary in Brighton. Real to Reel's Peggy Weber sat down with this fascinating Catholic insider and tells us more. It's interesting. The Holy Father said the other day, this is just one word. Rocco Palmo has a lot to say. He actually has had a lot to say about the Catholic Church and its life since 2004. He quotes stats, numbers, and facts about the church the way some people know batting averages or financial data. Rocco, 32, brought his insights and information to more than 100 people at Our Lady of Presentation Lecture Hall on the campus of St. John's Seminary. The pews of the former church were filled, mostly with a sea of men wearing Roman collars. Monsignor James Maroney, rector of the seminary, conducted a question and answer session with Rocco about a variety of topics from Pope Francis to technology to trends in the church. None of us, no matter what our vocation, no matter what our place in the church, none of us got here alone. Um, we're all the product, obviously, of, of those who came before us who passed it on intact, but not just as you pass on a book, who passed it on with passion, who passed it on as something which gave them life. Rocco, whose blog has had 40 million hits in the past decade, said the church faces a lot of challenges. He said weekly attendance numbers are down in the Philadelphia Archdiocese to 18 percent, and that the internet is a great tool for reaching out to others, but that cyberspace can be toxic. Still, it is clear he loves what he is doing. So how did a 20-something-year-old get into this? Why well, I grew up with two fascinations, the church. Uh, from amazing people around me in my hometown and the news because for 30 years my dad worked for the Philadelphia newspapers and so the first time I saw the newsroom I fell in love with it the first time I was walked into the cathedral I fell in love with it. Rocco shares news on his blog and Twitter feed and is a one-man band so he enjoys meeting his readers. It's even moments like this you know just just because it can be as much as you know you can get inundated with calls and emails and whatever else is and you could be in the thick of a story. Um, there's nothing like walking into a place where you don't live, where at least in the case of here in Boston, I haven't been in a long time, and you're suddenly surrounded by friends, and you feel at home. And, and that's the thing, wherever the church is, wherever church folk are, I'm home. Rocco says he has to be wary of burnout, and he faces other challenges. You always have to kind of try to find a balance to the moment in terms of technology and spreading news and what even the, question, the base question, what is news? There are four million African-American Catholics in this country. That is a larger community than the entire Episcopal Church. We hear a lot about the Episcopal Church in this country, but even among our own Catholic people, we don't hear a lot about black Catholics. But the Anglo, but the conversation that's being had in the blogosphere too often doesn't reflect this. And if we're going to be Catholic, well, where's the word come from? Universal. For Rocco, it will be like Christmas morning, a kid in a candy shop, and New Year's Eve celebration when Pope Francis comes to his hometown of Philadelphia. Rocco, like most Americans, is enthusiastic about the visit of Pope Francis this September. When asked if he were excited, he responded with a smile. Who isn't? When John Paul came in 1995, it was the first time I saw a pope. I remember 90,000 people soaked in the rain at Giant Stadium for, got there hours before he arrived because of security. And no one wanted to leave and no one wanted to be anywhere else. And this time you're talking at least 800,000, you know, on the Ben Franklin Parkway in Philadelphia. Rocco says this papal visit is important to the Catholic Church in Philadelphia and America. This gives us the opportunity to really begin reaching out to people again and saying there's more to the church than what you've seen. And, but also to say to ourselves as a diocese, this is our chance to really start building a new future and being better than we were. And when asked what he predicted Pope Francis would do in his upcoming years, Rocco said, We have not seen, we, we hear a lot of things, we see a lot of moments, I don't think we've seen the full brunt of what Francis, what Francis will do 
to take the church where he feels it needs to go. Rocco is enthusiastic about his work and passionate about his faith. He knows there is a lot to report. There are 1.2 billion of us around the world, so it's never a dull day. He is a young man with a unique vocation, and he will continue to inform his many followers about the church he loves. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber. Thanks, Peggy, and Rocco will certainly have a lot to report on this fall when Pope Francis visits the United States in September.